In this video, I'm going to show you how to use SLE4428 and SLE5528 contact cards using the ACR39 U-Reader Writer. So to understand these tags, you have to first download the documentation from internet and these documents are easily available you can go to any website that sells these tags you can download the documentation and we're going to understand the documentation which is uh, very much required if you want to know these tags in more details we're also going to see what are the commands in ACR 39U reader writer that is specific to uh, the 4428 and 5528 so you have to buy a few tags and using my software you can uh, play with the tags and understand the tags very well if you are looking to buy ACR 39U reader writer I found one eBay shop even I bought a few reader letters from the same shop and this is um, probably the best price you can get you get the reader writer along with uh, the Phi SLE 4452 tax and the cost is 15 pounds it's, uh, it's really I think this is the best price you can have and probably can also go to uh, the eBay shop it's called uh, Comitex BG so even though this is uh, not from UK side um, didn't matter to me because you get a free uh, service so this is a good price now this video is about 5528 or 4428 tax so somehow I could not find SLE 5528 in eBay you might find that in outside eBay websites so I found one more eBay shop uh, I've already purchased you know uh, 10 cards from this site and look at the price it's just six pound nineteen and pence for a pack of uh, 10 it is 4428 so I think it's uh, very similar to 5542 and uh, 4442 looks like the 55 series are probably you know the better in the performance wise so but the structurally uh, 4428 and 5528 are the same so if you buy this and if you understand you know SLE 4428 probably that should be that should be enough so if you google for SLE uh, 4428 and you can download this uh, PDF and this is exactly the same folder I have used in my previous videos where uh, I mentioned about downloading uh, 5542 and uh, 4442 okay so just see what is inside SLE 4428 so what exactly the SLE 4428 So as you can see here, there's also one more version. It's called SLE4418. The only difference between the 18 and 28 is 28 has got uh, some kind of a password protection, whereas 4418 doesn't. So as you can see here, this tag has got more memory than the 5542. So this has got 1024 bytes and you can protect all the 1024 bytes if you compare this with uh, 5542 the 5542 had 256 bytes out of which you can protect only the first 32 bytes so depending on the application you can either use this or the 5542 one so for the for a developer or for a for a user 
we are just interested in this uh, capacity of the memory and whether it's uh, protected or not but all other details are, are very technical say for example it says about a three wire bus it may not be interesting for us maybe it's it's good for people who create reader writers so and also you got some some important information here you can uh, write a hundred thousand uh, times here I think this is also one of the important data you need to keep in mind and most of the things in this document are not very much essential for a user developers so they are they're really a very technical side and it's good to read you know they are this very easy to understand so it speaks about you know difference between 4418 and 4428 it speaks here and so as you can see here they are more technical and this is something interesting here this is the the commands the various commands you can you can write and protect as well there's a command to just write to a byte without uh, protecting and you can write with the uh, comparing data so these commands they are more in detail here but the way it is done in ACR39U is uh, uh, different so ACR39U makes everything much easier so we don't have to go any any further here you know just uh, uh, just spend some time reading this so we also download downloaded SLE5528 and this has got only six pages so first you have to you read this and then you can come back to this and here the, the, this diagram is uh, pretty interesting so it's very very straightforward so as you can see here this has got the 1024 bytes of EEPROM and this line says you can you can read without any uh, password verification whereas if you look at this switch here any update to the either the main memory or to the protection bits has to be done after the authentication so so authentication is a must you know before you modify the protection bits or the main memory so there's something else okay there's something important here which probably it's worth noting down is uh, this bit okay so as you can see here this tag unlike the 5542 has got only two bytes uh, as a password and these two bytes are stored in address uh, 1022 and 1023 so this is the last two bytes of the memory and the error counter which works very similar to the 5542 is stored in uh, address 1021 so there's something something different when it's compared with the 5542 if you go to this uh, ACR39U uh, documentation and if you go to page number 24 this is where you get information about how to access uh, this uh, tag so you have to first select the card type here the number is uh, 05 which was uh, 06 in case of 5542 so this is the first command you have to do you got a command to read the memory so unlike you know the the 4442 uh, you have two bytes here because uh, you have got 1024 uh, memory bytes so which uh, you need 10 bits so as you can see here the lower byte takes uh, all the 8 bits whereas the higher byte as uh, takes only the 2 bits here and this is how you know you can it's very very straightforward you know this is very uh, ASN39U made it so easy to access 
these type of tags. So for the read memory, you have to specify how many bytes you have to read starting from this address. You also have a separate command to read the counter value. So this command also reads the password, which we have seen in uh, 5542. And as you can see here, uh, the dummy1, dummy2 refers to the PSE code. So keep in mind, you cannot read. Even though the read is possible without authentication or without password verification, you cannot read the value of uh, the passwords, but you can read the value of the error counter. So there is a separate command for that. You just have to send this APDU. You can read the protection bits, okay. So you will end up, you can read 1024 bits. So you can use this uh, command here. And here, because it's a bit is what we need here, so the length you specify here is always a multiple of uh, 8 bits. So if I specify length as 1, you get the first 8 bits. So there is a command for write memory card. So these commands, they don't match the write memory card what you saw in uh, uh, the SLE 4.4.2a documentation. So this is much easier. So for write command, you have to specify the starting address and the memory, uh, the length and the so many bytes. You can also write the protection memory. So this is how you protect the bytes and this is exactly similar to the way it is done in uh, 5542 where the byte is locked after comparing with the data the command provide plus or with the data that's already in the memory. So there is a comparison you know which is very very similar to the way it is done in 5542. So this is the command to send the password or to verify the password and here you get you can have or you know you can the error counter you can go up to 8 so in other words so you are allowed to make or uh, send wrong password 8 times so whereas in 5542 it was 3 times and the way it works internally is very similar with all these SLE tags. So one thing that's missing in this documentation is how do we change the password? So there's no command to change the password. If you if you see the see this 5542 there is a command to change the password. So I'm going to show you how to do that. That's one of the reasons why I, I mentioned that address uh, 1023, 1021, and 1022. Okay, that's all about the documentation. So let's, um, let's see how to use my software along with a brand new uh, 4428 tag. So I've connected ACR39U to my PC and I'm going to click on. You have seen this software in my previous videos. So the software is recognized there is a reader writer connected. I'm going to insert a brand new SLE4428 tag and click on the connect. So this is the screen I've created for SLE4428 or 5528. So as the documentation says, the first thing we have to do is select the card. So I'm going to hit the select the card. So all these messages, you know, I can see and like in my previous uh, videos, you can see all the commands that are um, documented in this uh, 92U reader writer. So it's very straightforward, you know, just send this APDU and you get 9000 for a success. So I'm going to bring in all the 1024 bytes. So if you click on read data, so I'm going to send a series of commands and 
okay so I did something wrong here so the reading is fine however this is not a new tag this is the tag I was uh, playing with so not to worry about that so what's going what has happened in the background is so I have been sending a series of read memory uh, command to read 16 bytes so you don't have to do 16 bytes at a time you can do 100 bytes or 200 bytes but keep in mind there is a limitations um, I think the limitation is you can't read more than 255 bytes at a time so this not this not the tag I want to play now so I'm going to close this thing and take this out so I should have written something on the on the tag so I'm going to try one more probably this should be the one I want to show you so connect again select so after the select is done I'm enabling all these uh, buttons and let us click on the read yes okay this the this the brand new one see there's something interesting I noticed here none of the bytes are locked so I don't know whether whether you know this depends on uh, from where you buy because these tags usually if you compare this with uh, the 5542 tag so we saw a couple of bytes at the the, the first 32 byte, bytes are locked but here you can, as you can see okay so let's just go through the screen here on the left side you got the memory the 1024 bytes of data organized into uh, a line of 16 bytes and in each line I'm showing you the address the starting address and the 16 bytes say for example here this byte is starting address plus 5 so this is the, the address 5 likewise the second line shows the data from address 16 onwards and 16 bytes from here so likewise because it's a 1024 byte memory so you got the last one oh sorry there's something I was wrong so I said so okay so when you scroll down so the last page I can see now th this is what I've done so if the page is locked so I'm um, as you can see on the right side of this screen this is I'm showing all the the protection bits so each of this um, checkbox corresponds to the the memory byte on the left side so as you can see here there are three ticks there are three checkboxes ticked here a tick indicates it is protected and this is nothing but the error counter and the two password bytes so as the documentation says when you read the password you'll always get zero zero okay and so that's interesting so say so new tag will have the three the last three bytes locked and the last three bytes are the error code is 7f and these are zero zeros okay so I also pro just like you know in my previous uh, uh, software uh, you can read they say R W and E links for each rows R means read you can read the data again from the memory card the right is you can type something and write it and E means you know you can edit so I want to show you that soon so on the right side here you can read the protection bit anytime so by clicking on R it brings the 18 bits from the card and write is you know you can I can play with this uh, tax and say write so let's not do that now okay and here you got the buttons to authenticate and as the documentation says this has got only two bytes uh, for password so you can authenticate you can change the password even though the command there's no command to change the password but we know that the passwords are stored in address uh, 1022 and 1023 you just have to write there that's what I've done you can read the protection bit when you click here it reads brings 
all 1024 protection bits from the card and updates the screen. If you see a tick, it means it's protected. So here, address from address to, you can use this to lock a range of addresses. And the error counter, as I mentioned before, so you, you can go up to eight wrong password attempt. So every time you know the password is wrong, you get uh, these codes. So you get uh, 7F, if it's 7E, for example, you just have to count the binary of 7E, it's 1111110. So number of, z number of ones here will tell you how many attempts are there, how many wrong password you can, you can go. And as you can see, it's a six uh, tries left. And okay, let's go and see the ATR. So the ATR, the first four bytes here, the first four bytes are the ATR and the documentation says how to decode it. So this is, uh, I've got already here. It says about, here you know, I, I did mention this in my previous videos. This is the ATR header. You got uh, ATR data and uh, the DA data, the directory data. So here, B0 means, you know, this information is in the byte zero. B1 means this is in byte one. And uh, B3 means in uh, B2 and B3, okay. So all this information, I don't think is really um, essential for a developer or a user uh, to understand, but just go through this quickly. So it is a three wire bus protocol, it's a general purpose structure. And the read mode is, you know, read to end. So this is surprising, okay. I just sort of check that again. So these two, it says, this has got 1024 units and each unit is a eight bit or a byte. So this, in other words, this is saying that, you know, this is a 1024 byte uh, memory. And all of the things, probably they're all not set. I think sometimes, you know, the manufacturer can write uh, their own data here and other things okay it's not very essential but say for example there's something called AID which is uh, D2 I don't know uh, where it's used so uh, that's all about uh, ATR and let's try to go and do some read write authenticate and some protection and so on